Good evening, YouTube. Uh, what's up? It's Tuesday. Basically, I just want to show you these glasses that I've made uh, when used in conjunction with this thing, uh, which is called a ProGen 3. It's a frequency controller. It is used to drive this thing, uh, which I haven't got plugged in at the moment because I wanted to show you that this thing can just run off a 12 volt, 1 amp plug. Uh, these on their own are very expensive and I'm, I'm starting to see why if I'm honest all that is a very basic screen uh, it's extremely user friendly and I've just got to the point where I'm learning how to program it so if you click on advanced features go back advanced features program uh, select set now I've made a set to run <coughs> excuse me with these glasses uh, just because I really wanted to and I wanted to see if it worked so the set is programmed as 7004 uh, edit or erase set so if I click on edit edit set label no uh, start line one and what you can do is you can just click through the program uh, if you don't want to change any part of the first you see it says L1 uh, I mean, that means level 1 and the base frequency is 1 hertz. Uh, level 1 sweep increase change wave packet no because that's what we want. Increment size 1 hertz yes. Sweep increment so it's going to go up in 39 increments to 40 hertz hopefully. Uh, frequency time three, it will put 3 seconds on each frequency. Uh, you'll see how that works shortly. I'm going to change it to two. So two. Pulsing off. Yeah, we want it that way. Normally it would be on, but seeing as I'm only running two seconds of each frequency, if it's pulsed on and off for a second, you're only going to see it once. So we keep that as off. A sine wave. You can change it to a triangle or a square. A sweep increase. Uh, offset. Positive. Uh, no need really to explain that now and then one the next line because what I've set it up as is you see L2 level 2 uh, I don't know why I have to use that as 1 Hertz when I thought it would be 40 but I guess the machine because it's already run up to 40 it's going to stay there anyway we'll see this works how I wanted it to work enter so sweep decrease uh, change wave packet no we don't want to change it increment size 1 Hertz yep uh, increments 39 uh, frequency time can change that to 2 again pulsing we want it off we want it as a sine wave we want a positive offset and then we'll just save and exit okay so then uh, run frequency set 1 we know it's 7004 enter what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up a bit just to make sure that when I, <clears throat> that's the volume, not the volume, the uh, power basically, and you could call it the volume if you want anyway, but that controls the amount of energy that goes out to the two ports which you can plug in, you would commonly plug in uh, TENS pads which I have somewhere here. I won't show you me doing that now, but as I'm a little bit of a, I like to play around with stuff, I haven't uh, had to change the cabling at all that goes into the frequency generator. I've just basically used two ends. I sacrificed two of those used ones to connect it to the glasses. So anyway, uh, run additional set no, and then it should start. Okay, so I'm going to hit no now, and there it's starting. I'm going to put the glasses there. Hopefully, you can see the screen. You can see the speed on the bottom left. I'm just going to record it while it goes up. So, what it's showing us there, it's got 2 minutes 16 of the whole program that I've just created because it only had two levels. What it's going to do, it's going up from 1 hertz. Uh, it's, it's adjusting 1 hertz every 2 seconds, as you can see there. And it tells you to sweep increase with uh, pulsing off, and it's a sine wave. 
Uh, so, yeah, it's up to 25. I'm going to turn it all the way up. I obviously wouldn't wear these on very bright. So then now it's changing to level two of the program and it's coming down. It's doing exactly the same thing. It's just coming all the way down. So that was the program I wanted to try. But what I like about stuff like this is you can actually visualize the frequencies <coughs> because you, your eyes just work like that. So if I was to wear them, which I do, then they would be on extremely dim. And the beauty is, is literally with this, uh, what I'm presuming some kind of analog switch, there's just so many levels you can adjust it to obviously just for showing people the brighter the, the cooler it looks but I'm just going to stick with it while it goes all the way down and obviously using the lower frequencies uh, it's easier to visualize there you go seven six five Four, two, one, end of program. There, back to the main menu. See, that's one thing I wanted to show you. I'm just going to turn the camera off a second while I find the other thing. So, advanced features program 7005. Uh, enter, enter, start line zero, one, base, five hertz, single wave frequency, so that <coughs> means at the moment, the machine, if you just continue and you say no, it will just make a single frequency, whereas we want a sweep, so we're going to change that uh, to a spread, sweep, 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 decreasing, Increment size 0.1 hertz. Uh, so if we start at 5 hertz and we want to go down to half a hertz, that's 45 increments. So let's try that 45 increments frequency time, 2 seconds. Pulsing off. We want a sine wave because we should be able to visualize that with the lower frequencies. Offset positive, we'll keep that and then save and exit so now all we do is go 7005 and it should additional set no so it's going to start off at 10 hertz i'm unsure why it started off at 10 hertz instead of five but it's only going to take a minute to go down Eight hertz. See, it uh, tells us it's sweep decreasing, and obviously, when you <coughs> when you use the machine, some of the sets are hours long, and they have 15, 20, 25 levels. I just want to show you how easy it is to program uh, one level. I know what it's going to do. It's going to go down to five hertz when I wanted it to go down from five to zero. So I'll do, I'll just stop that and I'll edit it to see if I can realize what I've done wrong. Advanced features, program 7005, edit erase, edit, edit label, no, start line one, ah, base frequency five hertz. Let's change that to one hertz and then we're going to keep everything else the same. I'm 
not sure this is going to work. But so it's starting at 5.5, 5.4. Yes, this is going to do what I wanted it to do. Anyway, I don't know what I did wrong, but I'm still learning. But I've only just started programming this thing because I've been so busy using it with the uh, built-in hundreds and well. You can just see there, it's small, it's got all the CAFL frequency sets, so I'm interested in using it with LEDs. Uh, obviously, I use it mostly with the plasma bulb, but yeah, anyway, we'll just stick with this, see if it does what I wanted it to. I'm hoping because it's on a sine wave we'll get to see some gradualization as I would call it. Square wave, if you know about waves, is not really a wave at all, it's it's just it's a lot more <coughs> abrupt, shall we say, whereas a sine wave obviously goes up and down. I'm hoping we can see that effect as it gets to quite low, but I'm not sure it's gonna get to low enough. No, so it's only going to go down to one hertz. But anyway, that's the, say if you wanted to run, uh, let me just look in the manual. One you could probably use LEDs with, it would be Acne, and that would be 83. So we just go run, 83. there see what this is is doing now is pulsing that frequency because that's how all the programs are what they're doing they're beaming out the wave every second uh, it's a 70% square wave sorry square wave with a 70% duty cycle and the total time left of the program is 1 hour 12 minutes and it's you'll see that will change to uh, 5 like I said it's a very random frequency but if the acne frequency is that, then that's what it is. Uh, with regards to whether the LEDs can do that or not, I, I think there's absolutely no reason why they can't because having used them for a while, uh, they're just completely amazing basically. I'm just gonna stop this and just show you a low frequency so we can show you what, you, what I'm, I mean. Uh, so we'll go manual mode manual frequency 0 0.07 hertz yeah. so yes the manual mo so this is running at 0.7 hertz that's a square wave so we need to change that so we go wave shape uh where is it wave shape wave shape square wave sine wave that's what we want so now it's a sine wave you can see it's more gradual I'm going to change the offset. Let's go 0.3 hertz. Okay, so it automatically selects a square wave, so you can see the on and off is very abrupt. If I change the wave shape to a sign, you can clearly see there's it peaks and then goes slowly out. So if we change the offset to center, will theoretically get a lot more of an off than an on. If I turn the, the brightness up, in fact on centre we're not getting anything. So I've changed that back to positive. And yeah, so that's what slow frequency looks like. 0.3 hertz. That's me done for now. Hit me a message if you want. Uh, if you're interested in this thing, go to resonantlight.com, <coughs> epic company. Resonant Light Technology, uh, there's a phone number on the website, they can, they'll can they sell you one of these and one of these, uh, and as I say these glasses are just something I made, that's a bit of an experiment, it took me about 15 minutes, but well worth it. Peace, bye for now.